Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be making Jamaican Aki patties. So let's get started. So here are the ingredients. I have some Aki's that have been rinsed and drained. They come in a can like this. I have some chopped tomatoes, some chopped green bell peppers, some chopped scallions, some dry thyme. You can use fresh thyme for this and some salt and pepper. I also have a ball of flaky patty dough here. Check out my video on how I made this. I have my frying pan here. I have a little bit of oil in there and it's heated and ready to go. And the first thing I'm going to do is add some tomatoes to the frying pan here. And some scallion. And the bell peppers. I'm going to give that a stir. I just want them to fry just a little bit. Now, typically, ackee is cooked with codfish or saltfish, as we call it in Jamaica. But as I'm a vegetarian, I don't eat it. So this is why it's not in the meal right now. So I'm going to let that saute for a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the ackees to that. And just very gently mix it. I should mention that the ackee when it comes in a can is sort of pre-cooked so you don't have to cook it for very long and it also is very very delicate so don't overcook it. Now I'm going to sprinkle some thyme. And I'm going to add some salt and black pepper to that. And I'm going to just gently stir that. Because I'm going to be baking the ackee in the patties, I'm going to remove it from the heat now and allow it to cool. Okay guys, so I have my flaky dough here and the ackee that's been cooked. So I'm going to roll out the dough and fill it with the ackee. I'm going to cut the dough in half because it's easier to work with. I have my surface slightly floured here. I'm going to roll it out to one eighth of an inch thickness. I have a plate and a knife to cut out the patties. Doesn't have to be perfect, but this is the way I'm used to doing it. Look how good that looks, guys. And you stay a little bit away from the edges. I'm gonna fold over the top flap. Like so, press it in them with our fingers a little bit. I have a fork here and I'm going to use it to crimp the edges like this. And then you just prick the center with a fork to allow the air to escape. I'm going to get the patties all filled and then come back. 
The patties are all filled and I'm going to bake these at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius for 12 to 15 minutes. The patties don't tend to change much in color so keep an eye on it as oven temperatures may vary. Okay guys, so the ackee patties are done. So I'm going to cut one open so you can have an idea of what it looks like. Look at that goodness. Wow. That looks so good. And of course I have to give it a try. This is really good guys. You have to try to make this. I taste the ackee. It's not overcooked, which is really good. And I taste all the seasoning. Everything really melts well together. So there you have it guys. Jamaican ackee patties. Thanks for watching.